Hey everyone, it's Angela with Earrings by Angela here. And today we are taking some time to talk about raising our vibes. And I'm actually teaching you from the ABCs of Raising Your Vibes work or ebook that I created. And so we're focusing on the letter I today. And I represents our intuition. So it's like, oh my gosh, did you just get a hunch to do something? If you did, that's your intuition. It's your natural GPS system that is trying to guide you. So what you definitely want to stop doing is pushing the mute button. And what does that mean? What does pushing the mute button mean? It means that you're so busy and so distracted that you can't hear what your intuition is trying to say. It's like, knock, 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 knock. And you're like, no one's there because I didn't hear the knock because I got this going on, this going on, this going on. I want to go here. I want to go here. I want to go there. I don't have time to sit down. I don't have time to think. I barely have time to sleep. Well, stop. Pause, <laughs> right? Because when you don't listen to your intuition, when you can't hear your intuition, it's like you're stopping yourself from taking the next step great adventure because you didn't catch the tip that was going to take you to the next level huh it's a third eye chakra thing y'all the third eye right here is what opens up your intuition it's your pineal gland you guys and so that opens up your intuition so that you can catch these these hints, these tricks, these these things you can hear. You can hear actually in your mind's eye and with your, your ears. You're open, right? So you're going to wonder, like, it's, it's always like two voices that come. And I, I did this, but I, it's two voices that come. One is the intuition and one is the doubt. Do you ever have, that's why, remember when you used to watch those cartoons and there would be the, the good guy on this part and the bad guy on that part? That's like your, your thoughts, right? So one thought is going to be intuition is like, hey, go do this. And then your other thought is going to come in and say, no, nah, you can't do that. So let's not even do it. Let's not try. You know, so you definitely... When you hear it, you want to act on it. You know, it can it can definitely save you. So um, <clears throat> the challenge is over the next two days for you to record any thoughts or hunches that you received because you might be surprised what your intuition has to say, right? What if your intuition, what if you're creating uh, a piece of jewelry, right? And you're like, oh, I think this color goes better with this color. And then all of a sudden you look in in your stuff and you're like, wait a minute, what's this right here though? This might go better with this. You know what? I'm going to do this. Or you had a design in mind, right? You picked out all the materials and you, you may be about to begin and something said, no, 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 put that away. Do this one like right now. And then you do it, and then you're like, okay, I'm, I'm going to list this to later. And then all of a sudden you get caught up in like, well, you've already got it right here. Let me grab the camera. Let me take photos of this, and let me go list it in my Etsy shop or wherever you sell it. And guess what? Next thing you know, within 24 hours, it could even be within an hour. Hey, something happened to me in 15 minutes when I followed my intuition. But... That's the piece that sells right off top. That literally, I cannot kid you. I can if I wanted to, but I'm not going to kid you. That literally like happened to me. I was listing a pair of earrings on Etsy. This happened years ago. And no long, no later than 15 minutes later, you guys, it sold. And I was like, and I'm tripping because I'm like, wait a minute. Where did the, I know I just listed that. Where did it go? Well, where was it going? The order came from Paris, France. How my earrings gonna get there before I do? Come on, somebody. 
But here's the thing. Had I not followed my intuition and done that, I wouldn't have had that sale at that time. So you never know where your intuition is going to lead you. And I have so many other stories about that, like the book projects that I was invited to, the guest speaking, and all it's just been remarkable, you guys. But those are the great adventures that I'm talking about. You don't listen to your intuition, then you won't be able to do it because if you can't hear it, or even if you hear it, but you doubt it, and why do you doubt it? Because of fear. Push past that. Just go for it. You guys, look how long it took me to come on camera and be with you guys. I was shy. And then it's like, you know what? Life is short. Just do it. You really want to talk to them. You teach classes in person. You, It's just the camera thing, y'all. And I said, you know what? Get over it. So I challenged myself. Film every day. Sometimes two or three videos a day. Now, they don't all get released at the same time. But the point is, I had to make myself comfortable so that I can better serve you. <clears throat> right? I, I have to get comfortable in front of the camera. Otherwise, you know, we can't have these conversations. Listen to my intuition. And I'm still listening. Now, sometimes I may act like Jonah in the belly of the whale and not listen when intuition says, go do this. And then I don't do it and I end up in the whale. That's what happened to Jonah. Y'all know the story of the big fish. Jonah was supposed to go to Nineveh and he tried to run. So he got eaten by a fish. Then he got out of the the belly of the whale and end up going in any of us see so you're gonna end up doing it anyway <laughs> you might as well do it on a good note <laughs> that way you don't come out like some fish is going on <laughs> y'all thanks for having fun with me today i know that was a little short and sweet but this one is personal that's about you that's between you and your higher self so i'm just here to give you the tools to continue raising your vibes because that's what we do. We raise vibes around here so that we can flow into our creativity and not be afraid, but just, just trust the process. Just trust the process. Oh, let's do that. So you guys, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this this whole process about intuition and uh, I will definitely put the link to this workbook in the description and probably in the comment section as well so thank you for joining today and I totally appreciate you and I can't wait to see you again so become part of the earrings by Angela family and subscribe so you never miss a video peace and blessings to you all